Did you catch this in Shazam? In the Toy Store fight scene where Shazam and Dr. Sivana run across a giant keyboard, the filmmakers were winking at an iconic scene from another movie about a boy who magically transforms into an adult, the 1988 film Big. Tom Hanks and Robert Loggia hopped two songs out on a similar keyboard in the famous FAO Schwartz. Did you notice this in A Quiet Place? The ransacked pharmacy has an entire aisle of chips that's gone untouched. That's because the bags make too much noise and would attract the creatures who hunt and kill by sound. Better stock up on your favorite pudding instead. Did you see this in Deadpool? The People magazine in the opening credits shows a picture of Ryan Reynolds as the sexiest man alive. Turns out this isn't just a funny little joke or delusions of grandeur, it's an actual cover from a 2010 issue of the magazine. Did you know this about Doctor Strange? Several movies have been cited as inspiration for Doctor Strange, but there is one Disney film in particular that stands out. Cinematographer Ben Davis said that this film is a very psychedelic grounding, and most of the work is about other dimensions, which help them build the world of Doctor Strange. What film was he referring to? Disney's Fantasia. Do you remember this from Soul? When Maria Martinez is assigned as a mentor to Soul number 108,210,121,415, that's not some random number. Turns out the Population Reference Bureau estimated that more than 108 billion humans have existed on Earth up to the year 2020. Did you see this in Captain America The First Avenger? When we first see Schmidt, the edges of his eyelids are red, and he has a strange wrinkly scar by his left ear. These are clues to the fact that he's actually wearing a fake face. Did you catch this in Hotel Transylvania? The license plate on Dracula's hearse is actually a Romanian license plate, which makes sense as Transylvania is now a part of Romania. Did you know this about Captain America the First Avenger? The bartender might look strangely familiar to you. That's because you've seen him before, well, most of him anyway. The bartender is played by Leander Dini, body double for the skinny pre-serum Steve Rogers. Did you notice this in The Batman? Since the filmmakers wanted Batman's suit to be more real-world and less outright batty, they replaced his bat gauntlet blades with arm guard straps. Different function, same silhouette. Did you know this about Top Gun? The film was produced with assistance from the United States Navy, which made for some interesting conflicts. For the opening of the film, director Tony Scott wanted to shoot aircraft taking off and landing on the aircraft carrier backlit by the sun. The carrier captain had changed course of the ship, and when Scott asked if the ship could continue on the previous course and speed, he was told that turning the ship cost $25,000. Scott then wrote the captain a quick $25,000 check so the ship could be turned and he could keep shooting for another five minutes. According to Scott, the check bounced. Did you miss this in Encanto? When Antonio first enters his room, you can briefly see a capybara-themed desk and a toucan-themed chair, which of course fits right in with his special gift of being able to talk to animals. Did you notice this in Uncharted? When Nathan and Chloe wash up on the beach, they meet a stranger who says something similar happened to him once. That stranger is none other than Nolan North, the original voice actor for Nathan Drake in the Uncharted video games.